Hi there, this is Jen DeVita, and today I'm talking to you about who's responsible for paying for the inspections when purchasing a home, and typically it is the buyer. Unless it was specifically negotiated in the contract that the seller would pay for any type of inspection, then it's the buyer's responsibility. And so when dealing with inspections, your agent's going to be able to educate you on what should we be inspecting? Now we know that a general home inspection covers the home generally. That's kind of like a primary care physician. It will look at everything. If there's any red flags that come up, then they will most likely just refer it um, out and say, hey, you'll probably wanna have uh, this particular company come out and do a further inspection. So that could be roof, that could be electric, that could be for the hot water heater. And so there's a general home inspection. But what if your water is on septic for sewer and well for drinking water? Well, then you're going to need two inspections for that. Um, a lot of times home inspectors do not cover the septic and well as part of their repertoire. Um, some do, but it's not as usual, or at least where I live, it's typically we have to hire a septic uh, company for the septic and a well company for the well company uh, for the well water to do an inspection. We also have pools. So if your home inspector isn't geared or specializing in pool inspections, then you'll want a pool inspection. We don't, you don't want somebody that can just generally look at the pool. We want someone that knows what they're doing and can look at all the intricacies of that pool, the pool pump. Does it have a heater? Is it run by solar? Things like that. Um, what if you're buying on the water? You might have a seawall, you might have a boat lift, things like that. And so whenever you're purchasing a home, um, whatever might make that home more unique than the standard home, the odds are there'll be some type of inspection that can verify that, that uniqueness, okay? On the water, um, solar panels, well water, you're gonna do an inspection for that. If you are doing these extra inspections, make sure your agent discusses what is a reasonable length of time to do them, especially if the inspectors in that area are generally booked out. It is nice to know reasonably what are we looking for and so that your agent can communicate that to the seller's agent as well um, so that you're not just randomly picking a time frame, but you, you're picking it based on you've already done some upfront due diligence, which, which makes you look amazing. It makes your agent look amazing and it just makes for a smoother process. And when you're purchasing a home, it's already stressful enough. So the more things you do to plan, discuss, it's just going to make life easier. It's going to make the process easier. And knowledge is power. And inspections provide knowledge. Um, so I hope that leaves you with a little bit of information on, hey, I'm going to have to deal with home inspections when I purchase a home. What am I reasonably looking at? If you have any questions, you can call me anytime. If you are liking this information, please subscribe to my channel so you'll get notification on when I put up new content. And like it for... If it's a thumbs up and you find it useful, share the video. Have a wonderful day. This is Jen DeVita, your real estate solution.